I'm joined now by Tom Harper. He is the home affairs correspondent for the Sunday Times who is reporting this story. And Tom joins us now live. Tom, thank you for being with us. Just want to dive a little deeper into the nature of your reporting. You name unnamed sources. How do senior officials at number 10 Downing Street know that these files were breached? Um, uh, um, 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 uh, the, um, um, uh, it's, it's, uh, obviously allegations at the moment from our point of view. Well, I, I do have to ask, though, just in understanding the nature of what's in the files, how do they know what was in them if they were encrypted? Has the British government also gotten into these files? Well, um, I mean, um, so, uh, um, uh, we just publish uh, what we believe to be the position of the British government at the moment. Your article asserts uh, that it is not clear if the files were hacked or if Snowden gave these files over when he was in Hong Kong uh, and Russia. So, so which is it? Well, we don't know. Um, uh, um, it's difficult to s state anything um, with certainty. So we're just really hearing, you know, what the British government is, is saying at this point. Um, the article mentions these MI6 agents. Uh, were they directly under threat as a result of the information leaked, or was it just a precautionary measure to move them? Um, we don't know. So essentially you're reporting what the government is saying, but as far as the evidence, you know, to, to substantiate it, you're not really able to, to comment or, or to explain that at this point, right? No, um, it's very difficult to say anything with uh, certainty. Tom Harper with the Sunday Times joining us live in London. Tom, thank you so much for your time and explaining the report that has been filed there in the Sunday Times.